Welcome to Quick Tips, a two minute video on answering how do I do that. In this example, we're going to look at how to create a custom format for our table. Now, in a previous example, we looked at our format as table, which was underneath the home tab of our ribbon bar, and we had a list of examples that we could pick from. We can also pick a new table style, which is the next to last option available to us. At this point, we want to give it a name. And then we have some basic examples we can pick from. We'll first pick the whole table and we'll then click format. This is where we can pick things such as our font style, which we'll say is we're going to be regular. And we could choose to do things such as make it italic, bold, or bold italic. We're just going to keep it regular. We can choose our border if we want a border to go around our table. We can simply just click on our options for our styles and then on our presets as to how we want it to look. We also choose a fill if we want to set a default fill for the entire table. And click OK. And now you see a little preview example of what it might look like. We can look at our first column stripe or second column stripe, which will provide alternating stripes for our columns. We can pick the first and second row stripes. We can also pick the first, last of both our columns and our headers. If I want to do my header row first, I'll do, for example, I'll click on the row. I'll choose Format. I might want to say I want this to be bold. It's set my color to be white. And then I can come over here my background, or the fill, and I'll choose black. Click OK. And now I can see I'll have white content with a black background. Then I can set my first row stripe say format and I'll choose a light gray as my background color that way the black text will still fit automatically and I can even go so far if I don't want to use a white background for my second row I can come over here click format and maybe choose a slightly different color I want to make sure that my colors are going to be easy to read and they're not too similar if I don't like it, I can simply click on my clear button and make that format and go away. If I know my table has not only a header row, but a first column that is important that has descriptions about my data, I might choose, for example, my first column, say format. Once again, choose black as my background. And on my font, choose color to be white. I have the ability to set columns to be alternating colors, rows to be alternating colors. My first and last column, my header row, I also have some additional things such as row totals, header cells, and more. When you're done, you click OK, and now you'll see a custom appear for your document. You can click on the custom, click OK, it now fills out your table style for you. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have questions that you want to know how to do that, remember to ask them down in the comments section.